hey guys welcome back to my chanel so if you are new to the channel thank you so much for stopping by uh first of all don't don't worry about my nails we're gonna ah! sorry i have my phone in my lap <laughs> but don't worry about my nails we're gonna get that fixed in a bit you feel me we got a video we actually have a, a maintenance vlog coming up soon so i'm waiting for that so i'm trying to take my nails off but we can go here don't worry about it but let's get straight into the video so for starters um this is the part two as you guys can see from the title of the video this is the part two series to dating a drug dealer gone wrong if you are new to the channel i am going to leave the first video in the description box so you can watch that and then you can come on back over here and watch part two so let's start where we left off also be sure to give this video a thumbs up it helps me a lot so boom let's get started <laughs> y'all really like that story time um let's just get some disclaimers out the way because i know some people were like saying like oh well you contradicted yourself because you still let him do stuff to you after you said that y'all wasn't gonna do anything and i'm not gonna lie i did contradict myself but 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 let me let me let me let me kind of like give y'all my mindset of how i felt in that moment let me refresh y'all's memory y'all remember i met the drug dealer he was broke <laughs> i ain't gonna say he was broke but his apartment wasn't it we were sleeping on the floor he thought I, I first of all the fact that he even thought that i was gonna give him play on the floor was mind-boggling let's just say that i was coming there to smash once i seen that mattress on the floor mm, no <laughs> we're not doing that like that is so ghetto i'm sorry not in high school like you know like you talk all this shit about my apartment my living but bitch at least as bad as my apartment was at least they put a fucking um a fucking uh stand up for our beds like our beds used to sit up and then on top of that i don't know about y'all but in college i used to get them cones y'all know them cones that sit your bed up higher than usual bitch my bed used to be elevated your bed on the floor but you got so much to say about my living arrangements oh okay but um yeah so I know a lot of people were like, well, at the end of the day, you still contradicted yourself because you did something with him. And I know I didn't really get into the details of what I did with him. But y'all, literally, I'm not going to, you know, be a little... But literally, all he did was... What's this? All he did was me. That's all he did. Like, that's literally all he did. And that's it. Like, that's all he did. And I was kind of trying to prove a point to him on some, like, you still ain't going to get nothing. Like... You still not gonna get nothing. Like, I don't know what you thought this was, but you still not gonna get nothing out of this ordeal, right? End up getting in my car. Remember I told you guys the winter break was coming around the corner, so I ended up going home instead of going back to school. And the boy's apartment was on the way home, so literally it was just a straight shot. I, I know he had an attitude because we didn't do anything because he told me, text me when you get home, but I didn't do it. I didn't text him, but even then, like, even, like, you know, like, if a guy tell you, well, I don't know about y'all, because <laughs> I don't know who y'all be fucking with. No, let me stop, because I be fucking with losers, too. But you know how a guy be like, oh, text me when you get home, and you be like, all right, and then you don't text him. He'll be like, you didn't text me. Like, did you ever make it home? Like, he'll ask, right? This boy didn't say nothing. Like, I didn't text him when I got home, but he didn't care. Like, he didn't say nothing to me. The winter break comes around. He does not text me. I don't text him either. He's literally just watching my stories. Um... He doesn't really post as much, so there's nothing for me to watch of him, but he's just watching my story. Christmas come around. He does not tell me Merry Christmas. He's like, he just watching me. Like, he's just looking at my stories, just watching everything. I'm not paying his ass no mind, all jokes aside. Like, I didn't really care. Like, I wasn't really paying his ass no mind. I didn't have a good experience with him. So, I didn't really care that he didn't tell me Merry Christmas, to be to be quite honest with you, right? I, he ends up posting on his story, though, when Christmas came around. He ended up posting his family pictures. So, I guess he did, like, a family photo shoot with his baby mama and his son, his kid. So, he ended up doing a photo shoot with them. It was a very cute it was a very cute like little thing i ain't gonna lie it was cute whatnot and he put it in his story and you know they, they look cute like his baby mama was actually very pretty so um yeah like i'm just watching and stuff like that i didn't care yeah i didn't care i didn't care at all i'm just looking so then um we get back to school right in the beginning so now it's the next semester right because the winter break is over now it's the next year so we get back to school and he um i don't see him i don't see his car I don't see his I don't see him all I see is like his friends that's all I started seeing like his friends that I always would see I would see his friends but I would not see his car I wouldn't see him I wouldn't see nothing right and honestly speaking 
I, I was fine with that. Like, when I tell y'all I was fine with that, y'all, I was fine with that. Because I, from the beginning, did not want to really talk to this boy. So, when the situation happened the way it happened, I was good. Like, I wasn't mad. I was indifferent. I wasn't happy about what he did. But I wasn't mad either. Like, I was just indifferent about him. So, one day, just one little day, I am walking from the gym. I literally, it was nighttime. I'm going to say like 7 p.m.-ish. I'm walking from the I just came back from the gym and I and I used to go to like like my gym gym not even not even so okay so sometimes I would go to the school gym sometimes I would actually like go to an actual gym but this day I actually went to an actual gym so I'm walking back from the gym I parked my car and I end up seeing his car and I was so freaking mad y'all because I saw his car I saw him and we made eye contact and I was like oh like y'all like I was like, damn, bro. Like, I don't want to talk to this boy. Like, I, y'all, I did not want to talk to this boy at all. Like, I didn't want to talk to him. I didn't want to have no conversation with him. I thought that me and him were done. Like, I thought we were over with, right? So, he, so I see him, and I just wave. Like, I'm not going to act weird, like, too weirded out. So, I was just waving, and I kept walking. So, he was like, really? Really? Like, he just kept saying, really? Bitch, I'm looking like, really, really? <laughs> really? Like, leave me alone type shit. I don't want to talk to you. So, he's like, Irene, Irene, come here. Come here. I'm like, oh, <laughs> leave me alone. So, I go to his car. I look so irritated. I'm like, I literally roll my eyes. I'm like, yes, what? He's like, come get in my car. I'm like, no, you can talk to me from here. He's like, girl, get in my car. You're doing a lot. Get in my car. I'm like, ugh. So I get in his car, right? <laughs> so I get in his car and I'm like so irritated. Like, I'm not happy at all. So he's like, um, how you been? And I'm like, I've been good. And then, so he's just staring at me, and I'm staring at him. We're just staring at each other. He's like, you ain't gonna ask me how I been? I said, I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how you been. Like, <laughs> nigga, I don't even want to get in this car. Like, what are you talking about? I said, I don't care how you been. And he said, oh, wow. Like, he just started getting all, like, 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 shocked that I'm talking like that. So he, and my jaw, y'all, I don't sugarcoat nothing for a nigga. Like, even my friends, like, my, my close friends, when I tell them stories about how I talk to a nigga, they be like, Irene, you can't do that. You can't talk to a nigga like that. Like, I don't sugarcoat nothing for a guy, all jokes aside. Like, if a nigga say, oh, did you, uh, did you sleep with, let's just say, let's just say that I slept with a, uh, a nigga the day before I slept with another one. If the nigga asks me, I'm gonna say, hell yeah, and his pipe was good too. <laughs> his pipe was good too. I'm just saying, like, example, like, I'm very like blunt i don't care like i would tell the truth and sometimes my friends be like girl that's why they don't be fucking with you because you be telling the truth <laughs> so he's like so you didn't ask me how i was i said i don't care how you are so he was like oh wow oh wow he was like mm, wow he just kept saying wow over and over and i started giggling i thought the shit was funny i was like so i said what you want like i said i gotta go in i got stuff to do i said i just came from the gym i need to take a shower he's like girl you don't even smell like nothing you smell like perfume are you sure you went to the gym i'm like yes i went to the gym i need to take a shower y'all i'm being dramatic af i was like i have a sensitive vagina it's sweating down there if i don't take a shower i'm gonna get a yeast infection i'm i'm being i'm being childish childish as if i don't be lingering lingering around as if i don't be running errands after the gym like i'm just being childish i'm just trying to find ways to keep the conversation short because like i said previously i felt indifferent about him like i didn't dislike him but i didn't like him either like i just felt indifferent about him right so he continues to talk to me and he's like irene and i'm like what he's like i want to take you out and i'm like oh, okay like where you want to go eat or what he's like we could go eat we could go to the movies he was like it's whatever you want to do like i want to actually take you out he was like you seem like fun i it seems like me and you would have fun if we go out somewhere like i want to take you out do you want to go eat or do you want to go to the movies around this time i don't know why but i said movies i don't know why i feel like a movie was out I feel like a movie was out that I really wanted to watch because I don't know why I chose the movies over food because I would never do that today. But I said movies. And so he's like, oh, okay, so what do you want to watch? So I'm like, oh, I, I was looking like, bitch, bitch, when he started talking about movies, I get happy. I'm like, okay, yeah, we can go out. Like, I don't mind going out type shit. So I'm like, oh, is this movie called such and such? Like, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Da, da, da. So he's like, okay, so how's your schedule looking? 
So I said, honestly, I don't know because, mind you, school just started again. So I'm trying to navigate my schedule. I'm trying to get used to my new schedule. You know what I mean? So I told the boy, and then, mind you, school just started for him again. So he's still trying to navigate his schedule, you know? So I told the boy straight up, I'm like, I don't know what my schedule looking like right now, but when I see my schedule, I'm going to let you know. And, yeah. And so he's like, okay, that's cool. He was like, I also got a busy schedule, too. So he was just telling me, like, he will let me know as well, like, what his schedule is, right? So I'm like, cool. So um, I'm like, all right, well, I'll see you later. He's like, wait, 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 where you going? I'm like, oh, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'll see you later. So I'm like, What's wrong with me? But yeah, so I'm like, <sighs> like I literally hugged. And he was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, what? And he was like, you're mean. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, you're one of the meanest girls that I've ever talked to. And I'm like, so why do you want to talk to me? <laughs> And that's how you know. Like, y'all know that saying where they say guys don't, when guys say, we don't like rude girls, we don't like crazy girls, they are liars. Guys love mean girls. They love mean girls. Whenever I treated a nigga like shit, whenever I dogged a nigga out, whenever I was rude to a nigga, that's when they literally chase behind me like a puppy dog. But whenever I'm nice and I show a nigga that I'm that I'm cool and like I could be calm, them niggas dog walk me. They they straight dog walk me. <laughs> so be mean, ladies. Be mean. But don't be too mean. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I'll be being too mean and then they be blocking me. Like they they be like they can't take it no more. Because I'm gonna be real with y'all. You know how some girls be like, I'm mean, I'm crazy. No, like, I'm actually very mean. Like, <laughs> I can be very mean, and it's not on purpose. Like, I can, I get in them modes where I'm, like, extremely mean, and I don't care. So, whenever I do that, them niggas be walking behind me like a puppy dog, right? He's like, you're one of the meanest girls that I've ever encountered. And I'm like, so why are you talking to me? And he was like, because you're so pretty. And I was laughing. I was like, I was like. So he was like, you're so pretty. And so he starts talking to me and he was like, and you look just like your pictures, bro. Like you look just like your pictures. And then da da da. he was like, you even look a little better in person. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, like you look a tad bit better in person. He said, of course, you know, I met you in person. He said, but when I seen your Instagram, when I followed you on Instagram, I was like, oh my God, like this girl looks just like her pictures. I like, ain't no catfish shit. Right. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's just talking to me and stuff. And so I told him, I'm like, okay, shit, if he gonna have me in this car here talking to him, bitch, we need to bring up everything. So, bitch, I started confronting him. So I said, okay, I said, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna say, I told myself that I wasn't gonna hang out with you anymore. And he was like, why not? And I said, because you did not text you didn't want to you didn't want to walk me out i said you kept trying to smash when i when i when when uh when i did not want to smash I told him i said dead i'm gonna say you you started touching your dick i said that is very inappropriate he started giggling i'm like i didn't tell a joke i'm like you started touching your dick i'm gonna say you didn't even text me oh did you get home like i was like you was doing too much i was like so i don't even really want to pretty much hang out with you like you was doing way too much for my liking so he was uh laughing but by the time i got the saying everything he apologized and he also told me that he didn't he didn't and i told him also i said you also you didn't hit me up during the winter break like you didn't hit me up at all but now that you see me you want to be all up in the car like he was the type of nigga where like if he didn't see me he didn't hit me up but if he saw me he hit me up i hate them type of guys because it lets me know that like i don't stay on your mind type shit you are out of sight out of mind type nigga and i hate them type of niggas because them niggas do not hit you up unless like you post a picture or they see you in person and them niggas don't really like you. Like them, the nigga that hit you up without seeing you or hearing from you are them niggas that, you know what I mean? They're intrigued. They want to talk to you. They actually want to talk to you. You know, he basically was just telling me that the reason why he did not hit me up when I would uh, to ask me, did I get home is because he knew the whole situation between me and him was awkward. And then he said he had a feeling that I wasn't going to talk to him anymore after everything that happened. He also apologized for everything he did. He said that he was not like, he said that he was not just trying to like smash or whatnot. He said, but he said that I don't know. I don't. I hate when guys tell me that. It actually gives me an ick. But I've had guys be like, oh, "I just can't control myself. I'm. You're so attractive." Ew! Like ew. That is nasty. Like I don't know. It, it, I don't. That's giving rapey vibes. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But he basically said something along those lines, and I'm just looking like okay and so he told me he said but Irene that's why I told you like let's go out on the date he said because I don't want you to think that I'm just this slimy nigga that's just trying to smash and he was like nah he said like 
He said, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Do I want to have sex with you? He said, yes, I do. He said, you're very attractive. He said, but at the same time, I still want to get to know you. He said, because I still feel like you're cool. Like, I feel like you're funny. Like, he said, I feel like me and you will vibe out type shit. He said, so that's the reason why I keep telling you, like, let me take you out on the date. Because I don't want you to come back to my apartment. I don't, I don't, I want you to, like, you know, actually, like, hang out with me outside of us linking or whatnot. So, I'm like, oh, okay. So, I told him, I said, well... I'm gonna let you know my schedule you let me know yours and we can link and so he's like okay cool so I end up getting out the car mind you when I get out the car he was like oh just oh look at that ass I'm like boy shut the fuck up and he started laughing so I went inside my house right or my apartment right so I'm just like this boy so later on that night he started texting me nothing 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 serious just like regular shit like hey you good like and I was like yeah I'm good so then he was like, okay, just checking on you. And then I was like, okay, thank you for checking on me. And then he texted me again. He was like, I just made it home. I was delivering all day. And I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Like, you know, just little small shit. Me and this boy, we didn't text every day. And we didn't keep conversations going. Like, our conversations were always very short to the point. Like, you know, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, like, or either I would end the conversation or he would and it was you know I didn't like I said I didn't care for him so it didn't it didn't really matter to me right so I'm gonna say the weekend came along around this time he's like hey Irene he texts me he's like hey Irene and I'm like hey what's up so he's like I've been looking at my schedule and it looks like I'm gonna be free uh on da 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 day right so yeah I don't know I don't know with me once you give me the ick, it ain't no coming back. I don't know what it is, but once I get the ick, it's like I can't erase it out of my head. Like, I, I really, like, all jokes aside, I really wanted to go to the movies with him. But I just couldn't get out of my head what he did when we first linked. I couldn't get it out of my head. Like, I just couldn't. It just kept replaying in my head over and over again. And he's here telling me about how his schedule is free. Y'all, my schedule was free too. Now, y'all have to understand, it's the beginning of a new year. So, even though, like, I do have a lot of work to do, it's still the beginning of a new year. So, ain't that much work to do, right? So, my schedule was pretty free. Like, I could have went out with him. But I just did not want to be around him. I don't know. Like, the, I just, I couldn't get what he did the first time we linked out of my head I just couldn't get it out of my head so he ends up telling me that he we can go watch the movies mind you when he hit me up he hit me up like in the morning type shit I wasn't doing nothing that day like not even working out because I know it was a weekend and I don't really work out on the weekends unless like the only time I work out on the weekends is if I miss a weekday then I'll go work out on the weekends but that day I literally went to the gym all that week I didn't have nothing to do. I didn't have homework, nothing. Literally, all I was all I was going to be doing was sitting in my room watching TV and probably chiefing up type shit. Like, I wasn't doing nothing major, right? So, he's like, I looked at my schedule. My schedule is free. How's your schedule looking? So, I just started making up excuses. I'm like, oh, I got homework. I got this. I got that. <laughs> Bitch, I'm lying. I'm, I got homework. I'm telling him I got homework due at 11.59 p.m. Uh, I got this. <laughs> I'm lying through my teeth type shit. And he's like, oh, okay, well, it's morning. You don't think you can do the homework now? No! No! I'm doing the homework at 10. No! So then I'm like, no, like I said, this homework takes all day. Like I'm making up excuses. So he's like, oh, okay, because they have showtime in that for, for the movie that you want to watch. They have it at 11. I just stopped replying. <laughs> I just stopped replying, y'all. Like, y'all, I did not want to hang out with that boy. Like, I don't know. I just couldn't get him. I, I don't know. I just, I didn't want to hang out with him. Like all jokes aside, like I just, I, I did not want to hang out with him. Like, I don't know why. I just did not want to hang out with him. Well, I, well, I do know why and y'all know why too. Y'all know why I didn't want to hang out with him. After everything I didn't told y'all, y'all know why I didn't want to hang out with him. I just did not want to hang out with him. So he's like, okay, well, how about tomorrow? We can go watch the movie. I'm like, oh, I'm busy. Da, da, da. So I guess he peeped that like I was playing. I guess he, at this point in time, he peeped I was playing. So he stopped texting me. Like he didn't even go back and forth with me. He just stopped texting me completely. Like, so I was like, good, bye. Like, bye. So, um, same shit would happen at this point in time, y'all. I got tired of seeing him. Like, he, I will always see him. And remember I told you guys, he will always park his fucking car in the front of my apartment. So I had to pass him up to go inside. And sometimes I will legit sit in my car for a while waiting for him to either leave or go to his friend's apartment. But he would just be in his car chilling. Like, he would just be chilling. And then I will always see, like, 
random guys come up to him he would like you know he'll be selling he'll be selling and he told me too he said that he mo majority of his customers were in my apartment so he said that he would just sit his car there and they'll just come up to him and buy and stuff like that right i couldn't really sit in my car for a long time and i was good <laughs> bitch he was all clock i wasn't type shit he was damn near working i wasn't working so me sitting out there, like, you know, waiting for him to leave, I was just gonna be sitting out there all day with him, right? I would have no choice but to just say fuck it and get out of my car and, you know, walk past his car so I could go to my apartment. And every single time, y'all, like, it, it never failed. It never failed. The only time that this boy left me alone was when he had customers. That was the only time that he let me be. And I, and so that's another thing. <laughs> so another thing I started doing, y'all, is I started, um, um, I started waiting for his homeboys to come out then I would hurry up and go inside because when his homeboys would come out he would not talk to me at all like he wouldn't look my way I don't even think he would even see that I was walking through because he'll be too busy trying to sell like he'll be so like he'll be like you know fidgeting getting the stuff handed it to them like he'll be doing so much right so like he would never stop me but if if, if he was by himself and he saw me or let's say like his friends was not near the car yet and he saw me he will always scream my name and it used to irritate me y'all so um he'll be like Irene Irene like he'll just be yelling my name so I'm like <sighs> so then I got to the point y'all I started ignoring him I started ignoring him because I'm like nah you're not gonna just you're not gonna keep doing this like you just not gonna keep doing this weird shit like no leave me alone so he's like Irene Irene, bitch, bitch, the more he calling me, bitch, bitch, I, bitch, I, bitch, I, ah, I'm, <laughs> I'm childish, bitch, I'm walking faster, bitch, I'm walking fast as hell, bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm moving type shit, so he's like, Irene, Irene, like, screaming my name, y'all, bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm moving type shit, moving, so, I get, I get to my apartment, I slam the door shut, boom, so the same shit happened. One day I see him in the car. Mind you, he's getting out the car this time, y'all. Like, he's not in the car fully. So he's getting out the car, and he sees me, and he's like, Irene, Irene. And I just keep walking. When I tell you I'll walk, y'all, baby, I'll walk. So, bitch, I start speed walking. <laughs> I'm so childish. My job, while I'm doing this, I'm laughing, y'all. Like, I'm la I think this shit is funny that I'm ignoring him. So I'm speed walking. I'm speed walking this shit. I'm speed walking. I walk. So I get ready to, so I unlock the door. He's still calling my name. I get ready to slam the door. Bitch, the door don't slam. Bitch, I, bitch, I look down. Bitch, I said, oh, tell me why this nigga put his foot in my door. I said, like five seconds not on no funny shit i'm like then bitch i looked up at him and i'm like what and he's like you're weird you hear me calling you you hear me calling like he getting mad type shit and i'm like i don't want to talk like i get y'all y'all ain't scared of nothing i don't know why i should be scared of niggas but i ain't so i said i don't want to talk like i i literally y'all i'm not a scary girl like I'm, I'm i get very angry when somebody doesn't leave me alone like i get very angry so when i came with that type of tone he's like why are you being so mean to me like he was like you're being mad mean to me he was like i asked you did you want to go out on a date you said that you wanted to go out on a date but now all of a sudden you acting weird like why are you acting weird to me and I was like I don't want to talk like I have a lot of schoolwork. I don't want to talk so he's like so you don't have nothing to say mind you his foot is still in the door and I'm like trying to like push the door like I'm trying to like kind of like use the door to push to like to motion him to move his feet type shit but he not budging his foot still in the door and I'm like doing like this with my hand trying to move the door and he's like not budging at all y'all like not budget so he's like so why you don't want to talk like why you don't want to talk like I don't understand what did I do I told you I apologize for everything that I did to you I told you I'm sorry and I said and look I forgave you and I really did y'all like I really did not have an issue with the boy I just I got the ick and I couldn't I couldn't get the shit that he did that night that I linked with him, I couldn't get it out of my head. It was hard for me to move past, like, everything, right? So I told him straight up, I said, I don't have an issue with you. Like, I'm just chilling. Like, I don't feel like hanging out with you. Like, it's that simple. No means no type shit. So he's like, okay, I guess. And he was like, 
I don't know, man. He said, I just feel like we can be something. Like, I feel like, bitch, in my head, I'm like, I don't care about what you feel like because, bitch, we can't be nothing. First of all, you already have a kid. Like, that's already a red flag. And it's like, it, I'm not saying that I don't talk to guys that don't have kids, but I don't take them serious. I'm going to just be real with y'all. So, yeah, no. So, and then... It's not even the fact that he had a kid. It's the shit that he did when I got to his place that disgusted me. That's all it is. He's like, okay, well, um, I'm going to be texting you or whatnot. He said, I know you're not going to reply, but I'm going to still text you. I don't care. So I'm like, okay. So mind you, I'm still motioning the door. Like, bitch, move type shit. You already said what you had to say. Get out. What the fuck? Get out. So <laughs> I, I ended up slamming the door. Like, I said, bitch, I slammed the door and locked it. So when I slammed the door... My roommates came out because remember I had roommates at this time y'all so my roommates came out they're like you good girl and I'm like I'm good I'm good I wasn't cool with none of them we weren't beefing these wasn't the roommates that I was beefing with these were actually one of my second best set of roommates that I've ever had they were bad cool never got into it with none of them like and this mind you was four of us in that house never got into it with not one of them not one of them bro not one of them so they were mad cool like we used to eat each other's food we used to cook for each other like they were cool but I wasn't like cool with them if you get what I mean so when they were like girl are you okay I was like yeah I'm good like I didn't tell them what happened because they weren't my friends so I went to my room and I was just like this boy is crazy type shit like this boy's getting out of hand I'm gonna say a week or two later passed by I hadn't really seen him thank the lord that I didn't see him <laughs> I wasn't seeing him now I was seeing his car I was seeing his car but he wasn't in his car it looks like he started going Going up into his friends apartments and hanging out with his friends at their apartments right so I was never really seeing him I would just see his car in the parking lot and I would know okay he's here and I would just hurry up and run to my apartment so I didn't run into him right so my roommate my roommate had a dog and it was a puppy and she bought a puppy and when I tell you and mind you, her room was connected to mine. And her puppy used to cry. Y'all already know. Puppies cry. Her puppy used to cry. And she used to have her puppy in the cage all day long. And she used to have her door unlocked. Like, she used to have her door unlocked. And she was very sweet. Like, she used to tell me, like... You could go to my room. I don't care. She used to be like, you could go to my room and you could take um, you could take the, the, the puppy out the cage and play with him or whatnot. She said, I just can't have him like, you know, out the cage when I'm not there because he tears shit up. He pees everywhere. He, you know, he's still a puppy type shit. So I used to be like, oh, okay, like that's fine. And I didn't really... I didn't really go in her room as much. I must count on my hand. Probably went in her room like four times to play with the puppy because he would just cry, y'all. Like, it, the cries would be like, he would be like, <laughs> Yeah. When I tell you I could not sleep, like, I would be coming back from classes wanting to take naps. All I'm hearing, I would have to turn my TV on blast, put my fan on to like knock out his sound type shit. Cause like the, his, his cries were so high pitched to the point where like I used to get headaches, like not on no funny shit. So once in a while, when I was not sleeping or not doing anything, I would let him out his cage. But what she said was true. Like when, when I would let him out, he would pee all over the place. He was very hyper. He had anger issues. Like this pup had anger issues, y'all. He used to try to bite me uh, when I would try to put it back in his cage. It would try to fight with me to not go back in the cage. It was a crazy dog. It was such a cute dog, but it was, it was, it was a lot, right? So out of nowhere, I stopped hearing the dog and I stopped hearing her. So like for weeks, guys, for weeks, I did not see this girl. And I didn't think anything of it because she had a boyfriend. So I was thinking, well, maybe she at her nigga house. Like, maybe she at her boyfriend house. But the thing with her is she will come and she will pack spend the night bags and then she will leave. But what, throughout these weeks that I didn't see her, we like, she wasn't, like, she would not pack. Like, I, we didn't see her at all type shit. Like, even my other roommates across the uh across the apartment would be like have you seen no girl like and i'd be like no and, and i wasn't hurt i was a bitch i didn't care because bitch i wasn't here no more <laughs> so bitch i didn't care i didn't care where she went type shit so they kept asking like oh have you heard from i said no bitch i said it happily too bitch I, the only thing that i missed about her is that she used to cook some good food bitch other than that 
I didn't miss her because of the dog. Not because of her. She was mad cool. Because of the dog, I didn't miss her type shit. I don't know where one day I hear a whole bunch of ruckus. Like I hear people in the kitchen. It's like people moving pots and pans around. So I come out of my room and I see two grown adults. I see a man and a woman. And they're like, oh, hey, sweetheart, what's your name? So I'm like, hey, my name's Irene. And they're like, oh, okay, we're going to give her a name. We're going to call. She don't really need a name, but no, she don't need a name. We're just going to call her my roommate. So she's like, oh, I'm, um... I'm old girl's parents. That's what the, the lady told me. So that ended up being my roommate's mom and dad. And they were like, yeah, she's moving out. And I'm like, oh, really? Mind you, it's the middle of the school year. So I'm like, why is she moving out? So I'm like, oh, really? They were like, yeah, she's moving out. She asked us to come and help her get some of her things. We want to know, like, is, uh, it, like, you know, is this yours? And, and I'm like, um, mind you, me and the other roommate, we were the only ones that bought pots and pans and stuff like that. The other girls, they didn't buy anything because me, since me and her bought so many pots and pans, the other girls were like, we're just going to use y'all shit. And we were like, that's cool. Cause they were very, very cool. Like they would clean up after themselves. So we didn't care. So we used to share. So if the only things, the only utensils that were in the kitchen were really my, my shit and my other roommate shit. And with a look, with a, with a little sparkle of the other stuff, like cups probably. So the mom was asking me like, can you please come and differentiate which one are, are yours and which one are hers? So I was like, yeah, sure. I got y'all. So I was telling, I'm like, this is hers. This is mine. Like, I'm just, I'm like, you know, just take it out, take it out. And her parents were mad cool. Like, mind you, she wasn't there. Like, it was just her people. And her dad was talking to me and stuff. Her dad was mad cool. He had me laughing. We were cracking jokes and everything. Everything was cool, right? So they take what they take and they leave. So then I'm going to say like two days go by and she comes inside the house and I'm like, hey, girl. And she's like, hey. And I'm like, girl. And she's like, well, I'm like, why are you leaving? So the poor little girl ends up telling me that she's very depressed. And she said that she thought buying a puppy would help with her depression, but it made it worse. I'm looking at her like, <laughs> why would you think buying a puppy would make your depression better? <laughs> Do y'all not know that? That training a pup is like training a newborn baby type shit. Like that is not it. If you wanna, all jokes aside, if you if you need a support animal, you either need to buy a dog that's already trained or buy a cat. A cat, not a kitten, because kittens are just as bad too. A dog that's already trained or a cat. And most likely, I'm gonna be real, buy a cat. Because even with dogs, you still gotta take them out. You still gotta cater to them. They like. Cats are very, they, they, they take care of themselves. All you got to do is really change the litter, you know, and if they, if they outside cats, let them out on the porch once in a while. Like, you know, cats are not really high maintenance animals, but buying a puppy thinking that your depression is going to get better is crazy. So she said that the puppy made her depression worse. And she said that she does not want to be in school no more. Like she got to go. So I'm like, oh my God. So me and her, we talk for a little bit. Then mind you, this is our very first time actually having full blown conversations with each other. And she's like, oh my God. Like I, she was like, I really wish that I talked to you. And I was like, yes, girl. Like I didn't know you were depressed. Like I said, you could have been going out with me and my friends. Like you could have been hanging out with me. We could have been going places. And then come to find out the girl was from the same city as me. She was from Houston. So I'm like, oh my God, you from Houston? She's like, yeah, I'm from Houston. And I'm like, girl, we could have been going now we could have like girl like we could have been hanging out and she's like i know she said but like when she's she when she's depressed she just shuts down so she wasn't talking to nobody except for her nigga type shit she ends up telling me like i'm just gonna be moving stuff throughout the day she ends up also telling me that her um relatives are gonna come in and they're gonna be moving things so if they knock the door um let them in and also she was telling the other roommates the same shit right so i'm like okay cool so at this point in time her cousin ends up coming her guy cousin he ends up coming and um you know he talks he's like oh he's like hey how you doing i'm like i'm doing good and then um he was like i was like my uh, my name's irene you know i'm just introducing myself to him and he's like oh i know you i'm like hey, no you don't <laughs> no you don't <laughs> no you don't so I'm like, how you know me? He was like, you live in that room, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, I know you. He said, I be hearing you. I'm like, oh. He's like, yeah, I be hearing you. And he started grinning at me. I was like, oh. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all. I am a DJ queen, if you get what I mean. <laughs> 
fresh. <laughs> I ain't gonna get into any more details, but if you guys catch my drift and y'all catch my drift, I am a DJ queen, y'all. Like, I am a DJ queen, and sometimes I can be a little loud when I DJ. I ain't gonna hold y'all. So, the look that her cousin gave me was awesome. Like, we be hearing you DJing. Like, we be, and I was like, damn, damn. <laughs> And the guy, her guy cousin was actually cute. So he just kept smiling at me and looking up and down at me. And I was just looking away laughing and I went to my room, right? I ended up coming back to the kitchen to cook or something. I don't know. I came to the, or not cook, probably to fix a plate, right? Because my roommate and her cousin are moving things in and out, they started keeping the door open. Like they kept the door open because they, they were moving like heavy things. As they're moving, I'm looking at people walk through, like walk past my apartment and y'all why wesley pass up my apartment oh my oh lord like y'all as soon as i saw him i legit thought in my head let the shenanigans begin let the shenanigans begin because as soon as i saw him he saw me and we made eye contact and it was so funny because when i saw him i literally looked away and tried to look down and continue to like you know make my plate and this boy backed up i'm like oh no leave me alone and tell me why this boy walked inside my apartment y'all this boy walked all the way inside my apartment and i'm just like what is what's going on type shit like what do you want so i'm like uh-uh uh-uh so when he's walking in i'm like trying to close the door because he didn't get all the way in yet so i'm trying to close the door on him he's like girl let me in you're doing too much let me bitch this ain't your house what the fuck you mean i'm doing too much so he's like you're doing too much let me in type shit you're doing too much so i'm like what do you want like what like what do you want and he was like what you doing and i'm like i'm cooking i'm about to eat food he was like what you doing after you get done eating i'm like what do you want so me and him just going back and forth type shit like we're going in mind you while i'm talking to him he's getting in close he's getting into the house more i'm like hey back it up back it up back it up back it up like back it up type shit like no so he's like man let's go somewhere like let's do something i'm bored i want to do something today like let's go so i want to go on an adventure i want to go on an adventure and i was like i'm not going out today he's like why not i'm paying i don't give a fuck i'm not going out today so he's like why not i'm like because my hair not done he's like girl go do your hair like he mind you he yelling in the house i'm like can you lower your tone type shit like lower your tone type he's like girl go do your hair let's go out that like he's getting loud i'm like wesley get out mind you so i start pushing him y'all like pushing him i'm like get out wesley i'm like get out so i'm pushing him so he's like man so i slammed the door and i locked that bitch because tell me why this nigga started like like going like this at the door trying to open it i'm like oh no nah, this nigga lost his damn mind so um i ended up having to unlock the door regardless though because like i said my roommate and her cousin were coming in and out of the house you know so I end up going to my room and I'm like, nah. So then he tell me why this boy starts blowing up my phone. And I say blowing up my phone, y'all. Blowing up my phone. So after like the third ring, I, I answered. Because I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, yes, Wesley, what? He was like, Irene, like for real, for real, all jokes aside, what do I have to do to make it up to you? What do I have to do? And I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, I know from that night, like you're disgusted with me he said i know i could tell like i could tell that's why you brushed me off like i know you're disgusted with me like what do i have to do so y'all <laughs> i don't know some people in the comments about to be like what i read <laughs> it was a joke <laughs> Y'all, it was a joke. I put this on everything I love. It was a joke. I was not for real, but he he didn't care. So when he said, when he he kept asking, what do I have to do? What do I? I said, eat this, eat this. So I said, boy, eat this. Da da da. He said, and I started laughing, mind you. When I said, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just fucking with you. I'm like, you don't got to do nothing, dog. Like, I was like, you don't got to do nothing. Like, I said, I just don't want to hang out with you. Like, you don't got to do nothing. And he was like, I'll eat it. And if you fall for it, that's you. I'm going to eat it. Ah! I said, I said, huh? He said, I'll eat it. I'll eat. I'll promise you I'll eat it. I won't ask you for nothing in return. I'll eat it. Mind y'all. I don't know if I said it in the first story. Okay, okay. So this is the reason why I told him, eat this, da-da-da. 
I don't know if I told y'all in the first story time, but this boy was bragging on his head. I think I told y'all that. This boy was bragging on his head. He was like, if I ever give you head, you will never, da da da, like, I'm a eater, da da da. Like, when I tell you bragging on his head, like, I, and I didn't even ask, bragging type shit. So I think that's what made me say, like, come eat this, da da da, like, you know, trying to be funny, but I was like, nah, I'm just fucking with you. So he's like, I'll eat it. I promise you, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. So I'm like, nah, I was just kidding like I was just kidding he's like nah let me come over I'll eat it he just kept saying I'll eat it I'll eat it let me come over I'll eat it <laughs> so I was like no I'm I'm like no I don't want to tease you because you ain't getting nothing in return like I said I meant it when I said that you wasn't getting nothing in return the first time and I beat it today and I don't want to get your hopes up he said I don't give a fuck he said I don't give a fuck if I don't get nothing in return I'll eat it I promise you he said I promise you you'll be hooked after I promise you so I said bitch if you want to eat it <laughs> bitch we open for business you feel <laughs> Bitch, I don't mind a little eat eat session. You feel me? So I said, shit, what time you coming over? <laughs> so then he started saying like, oh, can we go somewhere after? Like, can we please go somewhere after? I'm like, it depends on how good you do. Like all jokes aside, it depends on how good you do. Like y'all, I'm being y'all. And I know some people in the comments like, girl, da da da, like you're contradicting yourself. Da -da -da. I'm really not contradicting myself. If y'all really hear this story time, Y'all will understand that I'm taking this boy for a loop. I'm doing, I'm making this boy do everything and still not doing nothing. If you guys catch my drift throughout this story time, my, my regular people, they get me. They gonna get what I was doing with this boy. I was running this boy head in circles, but people who don't get it, they just gonna be like, oh, you contradicting yourself, which I'm saying, I, I'm not, I'm not denying that I wasn't contra I was contradicting myself. But it was for a reason. Because I wanted to let this nigga know. Look how I made you do all this shit and I ain't do nothing to you. Nigga, you thought you was going to get some pussy. You did it. <laughs> so, he's like, okay, can we go to the movies after? Da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, sure. So, he comes to my apartment. I'm going to say like two, three hours later. He comes to my apartment. And, um, he tries to kiss me. I went like that. I'm like, ew, no, don't kiss me. So, <laughs> He's trying to kiss me. I'm like, mm -mm, don't kiss me. So he's like, you don't want to kiss? I'm like, no, not on the lips. So then he starts kissing my neck or whatnot. I'm just letting him. I'm not touching him or nothing. I'm just letting him. So then he goes, he goes, then he goes down and goes down, 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 down. <sighs> Y'all, that was the worst head that I got in my life. <laughs> in my life. I don't know what this motherfucker thought that I was <sighs> Cheerios. I don't know what he thought, but this motherfucker was nibbling on my <sighs> like a baby sucks on a pacifier. <sighs> bitch, I about to bitch, I bitch, I pushed that nigga head off of me. I said, "Get up and get out. Get up and get out." Get out. Three strikes. You're out. Get up and get out. Get up and get out. Y'all, I was so angry. I didn't even give him time to do anything else. I was like, nope, get out. He's like, I, I, he's, he started talking about something. You ain't even let me get started, bitch. No, get out. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I know some people might be like, did you even give him time to... Y'all, I gave this boy more than enough time to, you know, because in the beginning, you know, it's just going to start off regular. And I was like, okay, maybe he going to, you know, knock it up a notch. Y'all, like minutes went by and this boy was still like eating the shit like he didn't, like he never ate, sh like, like he never ate before type shit. And so I was just like, can you go, please? Like I pulled up my pants, y'all. I'm like, can you go? Like, can you go? Like, cause it's like, now you just gave me the ultimate ick. Like, I'm not happy. Cause I don't like when guys be bragging on they shit and they don't know what they're doing. Like not, even outside of him, like I was like, even not even just him. I've had guys that have performed terribly in bed and I never called them again. Like, I don't know. I just don't like when guys brag on their shit and they, they, they don't know what they're doing when it's time to do the dude type shit so i told him i was like can you go please like i was like can you go like i was like can you go like i was actually getting mad so he was like okay so he ends up leaving he doesn't text me i don't text him like i'm just irritated i end up going to probably smoke a blunt knowing me i went to go smoke a blunt and i went to bed right like i was just like ew i give you the opportunity and this what you do like you've been the main nigga bragging about your head 
since I met you and this is how you perform as soon as I let you give me hair like this shit was trash y'all like I kid you not it was trash it's like he didn't know what he was doing type shit like, oh this this is where I had to block him this was the day where I said you get in blockity block one day Wesley starts blowing up my phone like when I say blowing up my phone blowing up my phone y'all I ain't answering I'm ignoring the hell out of him I'm ignoring him so he is texting me he's like please answer it's an emergency this is not me playing it's an emergency so I text so I texted him and I'm like you can text not even call him I texted him and I was like you can text me whatever you want to whatever the emergency is it's like it's a lot to text please call me like please i'm begging you please call me so i called him and i'm like yo what's up so he's like irene i need a huge favor i'm like what wesley he's like could you please start selling for me <laughs> selling what selling dreams selling nightmares selling juice selling bundles selling ass selling pussy Selling titties. What do you want me to sell? What are you talking about? So, I, so mind you, when he said it, y'all, I was like, selling what? He was like, please, Irene, like, I'm begging you, please, like, please, I'm about to come to your house. I'm about to drop off a huge bag of weed. I'm about to show you how to put it on. I'm about to give you a scale. I'm about to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you. I, I need you to sell for me. It's no way that I could come to those apartments right now. My car broke down. I, I don't know. I don't know something with his car or something he said that he's doing that he, that his friend is about to drop it off for me i don't know what like i don't and mind you so i'm like if your friend is dropping it off how come your friend can't sell it he's like he can't sell it right now irene please i'm begging you like i'm begging you like please i trust you he said i'm gonna give you a cut like you gonna get a cut like you gonna get a big cut type shit like if we make a lot of money doing this like you gonna get a big cut like you gonna get i said again why can't your friend sell it for you please irene it's a long story like it's a long story like i can't get into that right now it's a long story just please like please i just need your help like i would never ask like after this bag is finished i would never ask again again why can't your friend bitch i'm gonna ask you the same question until you answer my answer i mean question so y'all when i tell you this boy got mad this boy hung up on me this boy hung up on me y'all so I'm like, <laughs> mind you, when he hung up, bitch, I didn't even care. When this, when this boy hung up on me, bitch, when this boy hung up on me, I didn't even care. Bitch, I literally just, bitch, I put the phone down and I went back to watching TV. Because who do you think I am that I'm about to start selling drugs for you? What, like what, when did I ever give you those vibes that I'm, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm a uh, trap queen, watch I hit the band, though type shit, like, like everybody hated we just call her fans though like in love with the money i ain't never letting go type shit like what, what makes you think i was a trap queen like when did i ever tell you i was a trap queen At this point i'm like nah this boy didn't lost his mind so i get back to watching tv i literally acted like nothing happened y'all i get a notification from him it's a long ass message he's calling me a bitch he's like you're a bitch he said damn you can't do nothing right he said you don't do nothing he said you are just useless this boy called me useless y'all he said you are useless you don't do nothing right uh y'all when i tell you this boy went off on me this boy went off on me he was like i tried to take you out on a date you uh you didn't even want to go on a date he said you kicked me out of the house this is and that he was like you've been so rude to me he said i even gave you an opportunity to make money and you 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 over here want to asked me so many a million questions i told you that this is an emergency i would never ask you for something if, it, if 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 i wasn't going through something you showed your true colors today i never want to talk to you to, to to you again bitch he called me a bitch y'all 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 know what i did <laughs> block <laughs> hella, 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 hella. block bitch i blocked him that's it that's the end of the story y'all bye bye <laughs> so if you guys like this story please be sure to give me a thumbs up um never seen him after that y'all like never seen him i didn't block him on instagram so we're still following each other on instagram to this day but he don't watch my stories i don't watch his i muted his story and that was that y'all i never seen him after that like never i don't know what happened to his car thank god whatever happened to his car happened because he never came around them apartments again and yeah that's what happened y'all and yeah, that's my story time of dating a drug dealer. <laughs>
If you guys like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you ain't subscribed, be sure to do so. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.